The rebound is there, but folks, this weekend, not only is it a washout, the potential for some ice and flooding, all of that we're going to cover and bring it to you straight ahead. On that note, all that expected rain could cause a soggy situation in your basement. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shows us, there are some precautions you can take now to help keep your home dry. Well, it's going to be scary, okay, especially if you have, you know, if you're in a flooded area. It looks like Western New York will be hit with an extreme amount of rain this weekend. That means stores like Ace Hardware in Hamburg will be busy as people scramble to replace broken sump pumps. With a storm with one or two inches of rain, everybody could be challenged easily. Store manager Jim Ziomek is also a former home inspector. One of the big problems he's seen is some pumps being overworked because home gutter and downspouts are not channeling water at least five to six feet away from the foundation. Some people don't realize it's just dumping right at the foundation line. A lot of times that's just cycling back and and around and around. Too often people buy underpowered sump pumps because they're cheaper. Ziomek warns those are more prone to fail in heavy rain situations. Bigger the motor, the better you're going to be. If you have a pedestal pump like this one, consider replacing it with a submersible pump. Submersibles move more water and the motor stays cooler because it's underwater. Pedestal pumps can overheat and shut down with constant use. If you were to flood, if that motor goes under the water, that's it. It's over. Switches are the most common electrical part to fail on some pumps. While some can be replaced, others cannot. There's no warning signs. Uh, it generally just stops. Consider replacing any sump pump older than five or six years. While water-operated backup systems are available, Ziomek said the best plan is to have a spare pump on hand because you never know when a sump pump will quit. And that's where having a water alarm can really pay off. This battery-operated one only costs around $15. You place it on your basement floor, and when it senses water leaking in, it sets off an alarm, letting you know there's a problem. Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.